It's a lonely day. It's going to be a weird show. All alone. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But the show must go on, as they say. I'm your host, Benny Rose. And today's episode of Press for Time is going to be all about the state of play, other gaming-related news, like Suicide Squad, is it dead on arrival? But you know what? I can't do this alone. So I brought somebody very special. Somebody you might recognize. Stay tuned for the next episode of Rest or Time. It's a me. Oh, 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 thank you for having me on the show. Ah, oh, oh I had the spaghetti too. Ah, <laughs> I mean, we can't have a show ever without the Mario Legend Pop himself. Oh, I figure I do a special costume for you today. Enough Italian stereotypes, okay? No more make a front at Italians, okay? Wahoo! A very good plumber. Yahoo! Oh boy! Welcome, Legend Pop. Thank you for helping me today as my special it, co-host. It has been my... a very long time since I was on Press for Time, True. but I, I, I feel like post-traumatic stress. With uh, we should be talking about toys. Well, the fact that I didn't confuse you by being at the other seat of the office too, because that usually throws people off. It's like, wait, what? But, you know, we have room for both shows, which is great. So I had to surprise you with the Super Mario. Super Mario. <laughs> Here we go. So, in the red shirt, all, right? I was going to say, you, you already know you're in for an awesome show <laughs> by having the legend here. So, thanks for joining in. But today is uh, a little different because this is something that we used to do back in the day. Legend Pop Paul also writes for Gaming Gauge. So we have a lot of people that are in that Gaming Gauge family. So we've been doing that for a long time. But I've known Paul for over 20 years at this point. And, uh, too long. Too long. Too long. So what are we talking today? Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. What are we going to talk? PSP maybe a little bit. Let's, let's, want- <laughs> let's get into it. Like, let's, let's pick up where we left off. I mean, let's, we're going to go back to that day that we picked up that 360 Saturday matinee Guzzo? right to your house with Guzzo. Guzzo. That's way before we were podcasting. True. <laughs> Wasn't even a, a thought, a twinkle in our eyes. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about State of Play, which was just done uh, one day ago. Pretty much all PlayStation Showcase. First thing, what did you think about the overall show? We talked a little bit offline, but like, what was the vibe you got? Compared to maybe what you've seen with the other shows, do you feel like it's a lot of the the same stuff churning? Do you feel like we have some good stuff coming? Or... Or do you feel like, all right, you know, I don't know what this year's bringing? Uh, I, I think it was a really good showcase for them. You know, uh, probably one of their best that they've done in a long time. It featured what what appeared to be mostly stuff that's exclusive to them. I mean, if it wasn't, they, they did a good job hiding it, that it wasn't exclusive or not to them. I mean, I'm sure Death Stranding isn't. Or we'll get into that, and I'm sure Judas isn't, and there's a bunch of other games, but they, they really didn't let them do the Xbox branding on there. Uh, I, I thought it was a really good show. For 45 minutes, it was pretty quick. I watched it like right as it finished. So I was able to skip through a little bit, like that uh, Ronin game, I think it was. Or I, I didn't Rise really of the Ronin. That. Yeah, I mean, it looks like like Ghost of Tsushima. So I'm like, eh, I could I could skip that. But other than that, I watched the whole thing. And did you, uh, play, the, did you play Ghost at all? Like the no, I have it downloaded on my PS5, and it's just another one of those backlog games. Uh, haven't got to it. it. It's it's too far down the list to say I'm playing it anytime soon. Fair but uh, yeah, I thought it was really well done by Sony. Uh, I think it was probably the best they've done in some time. It might be one of the best showcases that any company's done in the past year or so. I mean, yeah, I can't say even longer. 
yeah, I can't think of anything that comes to mind. I know Microsoft now is kind of splitting it around, you know, like they did the Indiana Jones, and it wasn't just like all their stuff in there, so they kind of mix it up. Right. But I I, re- I enjoyed it. Cool. Was there any obvious highlights other than you know I we we talk right a little bit about that stranding, which I know you didn't really play the last game, but I haven't played it still. You're, I, it's you're, you're a Kojima fan, so yeah, you know. I am a big Kojima fan based on Metal Gear, and uh, it, it, that's another one I definitely I'll play that before I play Ghosts probably, and uh, I'll probably play it on a Steam Deck now, which is like blasphemy for a, a Sony fanboy, but uh, I'm, I've never been a Sony fanboy. I mean, I like my PlayStation well enough, but uh, I think I prefer the other consoles. So, right. uh, well, we're going to talk about Judas, obviously, which is Ken Levine's new studio, new game. But uh, you know which one surprised me was a remaster of Sonic Generations that's going to have uh, all new Shadow story or, or something. So right. I thought it was a cool drop. I didn't know if it was a completely new game, but then apparently it came out that it's more of a remaster of Generations, which I like. And yeah. I did content so i'm i'm cool with that i mean I, i'm a sonic fan so you know yeah, something- Gener- generations oh. was a great game i liked having the elements of both both sonics because obviously you get the core mechanics from both right. sides and they, they have remi- remixed uh songs from those games also did you ever play uh dave the diver i heard no- <clears throat> whoa what's going on he's, yeah what, he's, what, what? <laughs> A little water there, diver, diver, man. What? What? I heard about Dave the Diver recently, um, and then finally saw that trailer. Like I right. knew of it, but I've never played. Yeah, it. Yeah, neither have I. And I was interested, and I saw that trailer that Godzilla is coming to the game, and I'm like, wait, that's not the kind of game that that would be. It is now. Question? Not question. <laughs> Well, Godzilla's finding his way in everything now. So hey, I'm I'm, I'm cool with it. No, it's it's awesome. I, I, I heard he's gonna run the WWE now. Yeah, I heard he might be taking over. He's gonna do the feet, <laughs> the rocket, <laughs> the rocket kick. <laughs> Man, I mean, I I liked. From what I saw with Dave the Diver, I don't really know what the type of game is, but I saw like there was one point he like threw like a a swordfish into like a door to like open the door and stuff. It was just kind of weird, you know. Like I guess it's kind of like a adventure traversal, like underwater. I'll try that when it goes on sale. So that was like kind of the the bigger surprise, right? Would you say? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you weren't expecting that. That stranding gameplay was probably a little surprising, right? Uh, what else did they really show? They announced that they're going to do another one for Final Fantasy Rebirth next month. Well, not next month now. This month, next week, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, because it comes out at the end of the month. I'm so surprised. Have a deep dive with that one. They did some sort of teaser earlier in the day that kind of looked like it was going to be Spider-Man DLC, and that was not on the show at all. So that was a little weird. Yeah, but, but it was the I- main Sony account that also posted. So I wonder if that. So I didn't see that. What was it? Uh, it was showing like the suit, and it did like multiversal flicker kind of thing. It was really mm. short, so that's why I'm like maybe it's going to be tie into the, and it showed the the video game suit. Interesting. And it had the the score from the video game also playing. So that's what made me think it wasn't movie related. Right. Well, I feel like the movie's way off at this point too, right? Like well, I mean, it was it got delayed so much. Here. Right. But I don't think it will be. I would be very surprised. Yeah. Well, so let's the only one I was gonna say that was a surprise, I haven't tried it yet, but it was that there was like a Silent like Hill a mini mini game of sorts that yeah. said it was available, you know, yesterday. Yeah. Did you try it? Silent Hill uh, short message, I believe is the name yeah. of it. Uh, I haven't. I, I selected to download it. It was just not That's happening right. last night. I heard it's between an hour and a half and two hours. It's completely free, so yeah, it's, it's like, like PT kind PT. of experience, right? I, I don't think it's as puzzly as PT, but maybe I'm wrong. I really don't know. Uh, it looked it looked pretty good. I mean, free, whatever. Right. I'll take it. But there is a big. Uh, I don't know if you've seen on Twitter. Is a big disconnect of like it or or hate it for the 
Silent Hill 2 remake trailer. And I get both sides of it. You know, I really do. The people saying the, the combat looks like crap. Even graphically to me, it looked, didn't look great. And to the people that like it, point is, well, that's Silent Hill. But right. to the other side of it is, okay, Silent Hill 2 had shit combat. Silent Hill 1 had shit combat. Silent Hill 3 had shit combat. Doesn't mean it we always... The combat do... wasn't about the game. That's not yeah. what it was about. It's right, but to me, it's also like, it doesn't need to always have shit combat. Like, you can evolve the combat and still tell a good story, right? I mean... Like, they don't they don't have to mimic everything in the game. Right, right. And, and it's blooper team, right? So they did medium, and medium controlled pretty well. Maybe the combat wasn't great, but, you know, right. they could have they could have evolved it some. And like Resident Evil didn't keep tank controls forever, right? I mean, you you can Give evolve you the option it. eventually. You don't have yeah. to emulate the original game. That's that's my point of view. I'm fine with it. I'm still gonna play it. And I, you know, it's not meant to be a combat heavy sort of game. But when you're showcasing a combat trailer, you want to showcase that it performs well, right? Well, I've been very skeptical since the fact that we've had next to nothing for months and months and months and months and twitter has been very adamant about just not really like feeling right like something's off they're not talking about it they're like just it's coming it's coming yeah that's there's you know that's always a sign of concern the end of the trailer it still said being developed for ps5 like the way where they clearly should have had a date at this point Right, which I'm not faithful that yeah. if it's going to, I think that if we get it this year, it's going to be a mess, unfortunately. You know, I, 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 I'm I don't, again, not totally sure why. They, why did they remake two instead of one? I, I well, I, I'll tell you. Why. Memory is more of a remake of one, so they're like, we don't need to do that again. But, but that, Konami, that, was, that was a cop out of a remake, right. you know, because that's not the Harry that you played in the original game. You had no combat. You were running the yeah. whole game. Uh, I mean, two was the the one that kind of broke the mold for most people. I think that's why most people picked that game up first. So, like, yeah, one is near and dear to my heart for a lot of reasons, and so is three because they're connected. Two was like this standalone story, yeah. and I played it when it first came out. I I had the I had the luxury and pleasure of having a friend that worked at Maxim magazine, my friend Alex Porter that did coverage on it, did preview coverage on it. So he had invited me to the house and I got to see that game like super early, like back in the day. Remember I used to have all the discs that were, uh, you know, from the companies because he would share them with me. And it was just like, I remember that first scene, you know, seeing the, the thing in the alley and it was like, Oh my God, this is awesome. You know? But looking at it now, I'm just like, I, the game's not, for me, not super memorable, you know? It's memorable because of the plot twist of, like, that main story arc. But yeah. outside of that, and the dog and the alien, the weird endings. And- well, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, is that, are they going to have the, uh, isn't that, like, the secret ending with the alien? Yeah. yeah. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't played for, for something, a, uh, 20, so sorry. 20 plus year old game, yeah. But I, I have hope. That I'd rather them delay it and do it right. Well, we don't even know. We never had a date, yeah. so right. that's what but I'm saying. Know, like, tell me it's in development and work on it. It's going to be know? Metroid Prime Four, right? It'll just well, Metroid Prime Four. We have nothing but a logo. I know it was At announced first. like five years ago. They More said than five I, years. I think it was like seven. No, I thought I saw now. a post that was like five years ago yesterday or something like that. I, I I thought it was before my kid was born, honestly. It, it might have been, but I, I mean, it had to be Either during way, the play, right? So Two specific games out of state of play that definitely worth talking about because we had some really, really great trailers. You mentioned one before, which is Death Stranding. I mean, yeah. dude. Well, like, well, well, while you segue with this, isn't it funny that we have uh, Konami on the state of play and then leading right into that is Kojima? Right. <laughs> it's it's very very interesting but i mean we're gonna we're gonna just show some of the footage that we saw while we're talking about it i mean i played the first we talked about you haven't played it i'm not gonna go into spoiler points but i really well, enjoyed the overall premise of this game but it had its moments of like i almost 
doubted myself playing it, you know? Yeah. And I think this trailer just changes the perception of, you know what? We know that this game was kind of like a, a U.S. Postal Service game on, on, you know, like on overdrive, essentially. You're just delivering packages like that's the core mechanic. But when you got into the nitty gritty, it really picked up. And I think that they knocked it out of the park with this trailer, just showing so much. Because I feel like we were always getting the opposite. We weren't getting enough. You know, would you agree? Yeah. Like in the past, we were getting little teases and it was always yeah, well, I, you know, I, Norman Reedus on the with the backpack. And that was really what you saw. You know, how, you, you really couldn't tell how far along that you were, they were in development. And now that you see this, it looks like they're pretty damn far. Right. And it's crazy because this is still potentially slated for 2025. Right. In the condition that it's well, in. I mean, Kojima. So that's all. Right. Get. Right. And I get and but, I get that. I rather so I haven't, have, as you said, I haven't played the first game, but this already looks like this fixes a lot of the complaints I heard from people. Like he had packages like floating behind him rather than holding them. He had vehicles, which I mean, again, I haven't played it. So I remember those, you tell me, were those some of the gripes from the first game? So the biggest gripe that I had with it is the, and I think most people did was the early, early portions of the game were very slow and it was a lot of walking and yes, you'd have these issues where having to drag stuff behind you and the vehicles were kind of sparse. You know, you, it took a little bit of time to get them. If you broke it down or you didn't bring it back to your location, like you'd lose out on it, stuff like that. But the other big thing was there wasn't really combat per se. Like there wasn't any weapons. Like you had like weird, um, like you would combat people, but it would be more to like, you know, nullify them versus like you weren't killing anybody, you mm-hmm. know? So like you didn't really get anything until like story points required it, if you will. So like for this, just from looking at the trailer, it looks like we're already love- getting a little more of that. Dude, it's so cool. I love that little character. <laughs> the face, the best right there. It's so awesome. But uh I love, I in a weird way, I love the crow look. You know, it's so obvious, but I mean, obviously Kojima kind of, you know, in a sense, created this um, imagery with the with the Death Stranding in the eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, obviously, in the what was the the guy from the the first game, Mad Mads Mil- Mikkelsen? I always yeah, say Mad, his name right. Mads, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was am- amazing in that role, and I just loved. You know, even when you saw those trailers, if you remember, it was just like him and like these war zones, and then you'd see yeah. the eyes, like the tearing and stuff. Yeah, so that's like something and that's Yama, become very synonymous. Yeah, yeah, Mo Del Toro was in those trailers also. Exactly, dude. I mean, you know me as a musician and like a guitar over here. I'm like <laughs> eating. I'm eating it up right now. But like, this is so. You can tell he's kind of bringing his Metal Gear roots. Oh yeah, scenario. I when 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 this scene started happening, I immediately thought of Raiden. I was thinking Ninja from Ren- uh, Metal Gear Solid. The, too choreographed. Well, I was saying like when he first came out, like you know, he, yeah, I thought like, it. I thought a hero, of like I thought, yeah. Well, yeah. When he's in like the mech, he's pretty much more robotic than human at that point. Yeah, well, he's ninja basically in Revengeance. Yeah, I mean, it's an awesome game. I never really liked when they kind of. He's pretty much like a robotic jaw and like <laughs> yeah, just like it was overkill. But he's like RoboCop mixed with a ninja. Yeah. Dead that or alive, game, you're coming that, with me. Snake. That game got ridiculous. If you you if you remember it towards the end, you know, fighting the president and everything. It's yeah. like he's taking his shirt off and shit. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, that is uh, I mean, if you didn't see it, we wanted to make sure we shared it here. That was a great, great, great trailer. But then there was one other one that we wanted to go over, which was a game that I thought of you as soon as I saw it. Which was uh, Judas? So Jericho, take a look. Jericho song, Judas. Jericho, Jericho, Fozzy. Was he was was he on, wasn't he on a cruise ship recently? Oh, he looked he looked like <laughs> Ronald McDonald singing "Blinding Light" by the Weekend. <laughs> Boy, he sounded horrible too. Yeah, and I like some of his songs, but don't do it. You, you don't need to cover everything, right? So yeah, there was um, this game, which 
if you want to tell the audience a little more, this is more your realm. I definitely think it looks cool, but uh, what was yeah. the creator's name again? Ken Levine, who created Bioshock. You know, he used to be part of 2K. So he, he started his own studio now, and then he's they, they throw him right front and center as this trailer kicks off. That It's a new game from, from him. And uh, you get into some of the gameplay and what some of the world looks like, and you can tell it looks like it's inspired by the same guy that made Bioshock. Yeah, I mean, even just the the character models, I feel, are strongly reminiscent to his style, right? And then, the yeah, first, I mean, look at uh, this, like this the looks fonts. just like Rapture, right? And yeah, I, I mean, the, say. the turrets, like it looks just like it. And then you'll see some powers and stuff, and there's some right okay, there. Yeah. Like this is this is going to be a wild one. I mean, I I saw it and I thought of you immediately because I know how much you love those games. And yeah. I mean, even the the, I guess we don't know the real timeline, but I know you like the that kind of era in the games, and it worked really well. But um, I mean, yeah. this looks I like mean, another think... game that's in development, so yeah, we don't know I mean, that may be that may be the new thing rather than pigeonholing yourself into any sort of date and then having to delay it. And I just say you're in development. Don't even say. Don't even own up to anything at this point. Like right. you said, between layoffs and everything else that's happened in the industry, why, why, why get the community against you by putting a date on there? Agreed, agreed. So yeah, and it doesn't I mean, say who's publishing. It doesn't say who's publishing right. out the game. So it right. could be so it, 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 Sony. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're displaying it, so we're we're hopeful, I guess. But again, the bidding war could still be happening, and you know. Could be a timed exclusive. We we live in that world right. still, where that happens. Yeah, I mean, not as much, right anymore. But yeah, I feel like it was happening more like before the Activision acquisition, and now that's you know everybody's kind of like really strategizing differently now on how to do that because a big core of the games are one company now. So that's yeah. a whole different conversation that we will not have today. <laughs> 